Hello everyone, my name is Saurabh Verma. I'm a lead cloud architect at Red River and I focus on cloud infrastructure and platform services. In this video series, we'll be taking a closer look at the pillars of a well-architected framework recommended by AWS and how Red River is applying them for our cloud assessment services. This session is specifically geared towards how Red River focuses on the performance efficiency aspects of the assessment. The multiple parts to this assessment, it starts with a resource performance evaluation that analyzes the deployed architectures, resources, and services to provide optimal performance. Architectural choices and selection of compute, storage, network, and database options are all validated here. For example, the deployed architecture is reviewed against AWS published reference architectures and check for a replatform or a refactoring opportunity. Implementations of load balancers, auto scaling mechanisms, etc., are evaluated from elasticity perspective to meet a given workload's demand that could be changing over time. Storage options such as provision IOPS, SSDs, and HDDs are all evaluated to ensure the desired performance is being achieved. Policies around storage scalability is reviewed in this phase of the assessment. For databases, the assessment checks to see if any additional services could enhance performance. This could be in form of right sizing, modifying storage options, enabling caching services, or utilizing AWS's purpose-built databases that offer self-healing storage and automated scaling. On the networking side, multiple factors are assessed. For example, transit gateways provide best performance when the network architecture spans across multiple subnets from hybrid networking, VPCs, and AWS accounts. And to reduce latency, selection of appropriate regions, AZs, placement groups, etc., are also evaluated during this assessment. Another important aspect is the visibility into performance. Performance monitoring must be enabled to ensure this visibility. Services such as CloudWatch, CloudTrail, Config, SNS, etc., are reviewed for capturing performance metrics and sending alerts when parameters are outside of expected range. We further review where applicable and integration with some form of ticketing system to tackle incident and events generated by the AWS Cloud Native Services. And as with most of the other pillars, there's a continual improvement aspect where we review new services, new design patterns, and new products offering that could provide performance improvement. And that's a short summary of how Red River's public cloud assessment evaluates performance efficiency. To learn about other pillars of our public cloud assessment, please check out other sessions in the series. Thank you and have a great day.